expressing dislikes in the past perfect. The art of using, hadn't liked. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to tackle an interesting aspect of expressing dislikes in English, specifically using the phrase, hadn't liked. This phrase is used in the past perfect tense and it's a very useful tool for expressing your preferences in the past. Let's dive right in. Firstly, it's important to understand the tense we're dealing with. The past perfect tense is used to describe an action that occurred and was completed before another past action. Now, when we say, hadn't liked, we're talking about something that we didn't like up to a certain point in the past. It indicates that the dislike existed before another event in the past. An example might help clarify this. Before I went to the concert, I hadn't liked jazz music. In this sentence, the speaker is saying that they didn't like jazz music before they went to the concert. The act of going to the concert changed their dislike into a like. Understanding the construction is one thing, but how do you use, hadn't liked, effectively in conversation? Let's see some examples. 1. She hadn't liked vegetables until she tried the ones from the farmer's market. 2. They hadn't liked the idea of a holiday until they found themselves at the beach, having a wonderful time. Remember, these sentences always imply that the dislike changed at some point in the past, so they're perfect for showing transformations in preferences. Now that we understand how, hadn't liked, is used, it's time for you to practice. Here are some practice sentences. 1. I, blank, hadn't liked, studying languages until I started using this app. 2. We, blank, hadn't liked, the thought of moving until we saw the new house. Try to fill in the blanks using, hadn't liked, and see how it transforms the meaning of the sentence. There you have it, folks. You're now well equipped to use, hadn't liked, in the past perfect tense to express your dislikes. Remember, practice makes perfect, so try to use this phrase in your daily conversations. Thanks for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep practicing, and happy learning.